on today's episode of Dapa Daniel. Stony Brook, it's a new construction neighborhood. We'll be talking about this gated community today. So you're trying to figure out maybe buying within the South Lake market. Really cool aesthetics with these homes in here. The HOA is gonna be $3,000 per year. The specs on this one, it is a 2023 five bed, five and a half bath, 5,145 square feet. It's not really a full trail, but it kind of splits in between. There's a small pavilion up there. They've got a few ponds. Uh, so that makes sense. Howdy folks, welcome back to another video today. We are doing a neighborhood tour over here in South Lake. I actually have some walkthroughs and some meetings that I'm doing over here. And I've been driving over in this section on South Lake Boulevard here for the past couple of weeks. I've noticed this one neighborhood called Stony Brook. It's a new construction neighborhood. They've been building in it since 2020, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of just another neighborhood over here in the Westlake and South Lake area. I did the Entrada over there in Westlake, so I'm hopping over here now, kind of a little bit more south, more into the South Lake area, just a few minutes away from South Lake Town Square. So we'll be talking about this gated community today. So if you're looking at new construction, you're trying to figure out maybe buying within the South Lake market and trying to find something over 3,500 square feet on half an acre. This might be a good option for you in the sense of relatively close to shopping centers, also off a road that is easy to kind of commute in and out of to get onto highway systems. So we'll drive around here. Now within this community, there's only gonna be 47 lots in here. So it's gonna be a fairly quick video today. Really cool aesthetics with these homes in here. Plenty of lots still available. I'll get into the prices and little details like that and talk about what to kind of expect with this neighborhood and what they're doing as well. So as you can see, really nice curb appeal with these homes. You have some transitional, you've got some like modern farmhouse with stone, some stucco accents here and there, uh, but you're kind of floating in between that modern and traditional with some farmhouse looks with some of these really nice on the stone. Sometimes I'm not a big fan of the stone on the front of the houses, but with like these 3,500 square foot homes on the custom, they make them look good. Some of these other ones like lower end builders in that 400,000 to $500,000 mark. I'm not the biggest fan on the interest way, on the entryway with stones, but something like this, I like $2 million. I mean, this don't look too bad with it, right guys? So they have about 15 homes right now built within this community. There's definitely more lots available than what's built right now. So I would say they're a little bit, uh, I would say they're almost probably halfway uh, done being completed with this neighborhood. They'll probably still be building this neighborhood out for another good five years at least because homes at this price point don't really sell as quick, of course, because you're 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 sitting in that like the two million, three million dollar range within here. You can see this one. I mean, these homes just look wild, and they should have enough room on the back side with them. Like I said, they're sitting on half an acre in this neighborhood. However, some of these homes are gonna back up to a neighbor on the uh, back side of the home, but some of the other ones are not, and gonna be a little bit private. I do like how. South Lake builds their homes and some of these custom homes and they do they do a good job keeping the tree lines on the back side of the home to make it a little bit more private so you can see they've kept a good amount of trees and actual big trees uh, rather than kind of crushing everything and uh, instead of flattening everything and not keeping kind of those older trees. You can see this home here that has the stone and brick on it. That one kind of looks like a firehouse. I don't know about the elevation on that one, but some of these other ones I'm really liking. So within this community, the HOA is gonna be $3,000 per year and the tax rate is gonna be around 1.90%. They also have this entry going out of the neighborhood into a different one, but it looks like they have that gated off. So like I said, some of these homes are gonna be backed up to other neighbors, uh, but it seems like they've kept a good bit of the tree line to kind of make it still private on the back side of the home. You can see this home on the corner here has got the sheathing put up. Looks like they're about to get ready for bricks. Now, there are a few custom builders in here to pick from. You got Homes Builders, Providential Customs, and then Simmons Calhoun have just been some of the signs. They do have lots available to build on. Providential Custom Homes has their model home actually within this neighborhood. The home on the left here is Homes Builder, and this one is for sale right now. The specs on this one, it is a 2023 five bed, five and a half bath, 5,145 square feet. 
currently listed at $2,795,000 at 543 per square foot. That's the current one for sale. There hasn't been a whole bunch of closings in here as well, because you can see that there's still a good amount of lots. This is where the model home is located along here. Now, these homes on this backside, I don't know if I'd really pick these homes on the backside, maybe a little bit further up, but some of those back there had an apartment complex, some type of other um, residential lease neighborhood. So I would probably pick more of the Southern or east side of the neighborhood if you're kind of wanting to stick with the privacy. There's also these homes that are in the middle. So this whole neighborhood, I've just been going in circles with this neighborhood, but it's all kind of just built off one big circle here. You have homes that are on the outskirt of the neighborhood, and then you have homes that are on the inside uh, that back up to the pond and walkway, little hiking trail system that they have. It's not really a full trail, but it kind of splits in between. There's a small pavilion up there. They've got a few ponds. On their amenity, on their map, it showed that there was a pool, but I don't, I don't believe so. And it looks like they didn't put an amenity center within here. So you get some ponds to walk around. Uh, not really too much of walking trails. The homes do have sidewalks. You'll find that some of these neighborhoods in South Lake that have homes on half an acre like this, they won't have like a sidewalk in front of them. So a little bit frustrating to kind of have to walk around the neighborhood if you're just having to walk on the street. But within this neighborhood, it's a little bit more walking friendly. They've got these homes on sewer. That's the other thing. Some of these homes over here, you're gonna find that they're gonna be on like septic, but within this community, they've got it set up a little bit nicer and more planned out. All the homes in here have to be over 3,500 square feet. That's the other thing with them, uh, a minimum of that range. So they're gonna be all big homes within here. The other amenity that's close is the South Lake Town Center. So within the neighborhood, you don't get as many amenities, but outside of the neighborhood, you're close to everything that South Lake really has to offer. So, so not too far away from that. So, and then I also pulled out some of the lots for sale. There's a half acre lot for sale at $496,000. And keep in mind guys, this is before you build the home. So just, you know, you're building another million to $1.8 million home on top of that lot. And they had four lots right now for sale on the MLS. They might have more available, but that's what was for right now. They have anything priced from $436,000 up to $496,000. I'll throw up the plat map on the plat map, you'll see on there kind of how they have this all situated right now. So you have those 47 lots showing there and they've got three different blocks uh, that are set up. So not really phases. I think this is all in, in one phase because it's really just 47 homes, but I do think it's gonna take some time for this whole neighborhood to really get built out because uh, these price points are just so high. This is the way out of the neighborhood. That would take us back to South Lake Boulevard and then going right would take you over to South Lake Town Square and then you can see that this is gated. And then the other thing that I wanted to mention was they are gonna have an actual security guard at that gate. So sometimes these neighborhoods, they'll have like a fake gated neighborhood in a sense or something like that, uh, where it's just like a gate, but it's not really guarded. This one is actually gonna have someone at the front. I just don't think they have that going right now because one, it's not at night, and two, there's so much construction going on in here that they usually keep those gates open uh, for all the uh, people that are working on the home so it's not so difficult for them to get inside the neighborhood, but that'll probably start going away once majority of this neighborhood is built out with things. The school district in here is Keller ISD. That's gonna be Florence Elementary, Bear Creek Intermediate, Keller Middle School, Keller High School, and the commute out of here down to Dallas is gonna be 35 minutes. DFW Airport is gonna be 17 minutes. Fort Worth is gonna be 30 minutes away. The high school is gonna be seven minutes away. Nearest hospital is eight minutes away and then the grocery store is 10 minutes away. So that's kind of the deal with this neighborhood. It seems like majority of the walking ponds, all that stuff is set up in here. They're just kind of still building throughout this neighborhood. It doesn't look like these homes are really on any retaining walls. You kind of have this home here that has the side retaining wall on it, but majority of these aren't gonna be on a retaining wall. It looks relatively flat in some of these areas. Maybe these homes on this side of the street uh, we'll have some type of small retaining wall, but nothing too crazy. Now, there is some like elevation to this neighborhood though. You can kind of get a good look 
over some of the homes. And it is a cool little walking trail that they have through it. I wish it was a little bit longer, but that's all right. That is the neighborhood there. And then going out, let me just show you guys how far South Lake Town Square is. So come out here and then you'd be on to South Lake Boulevard. Now, this is the one frustrating thing. So in the mornings, it's gonna be a hit or miss hopping onto this just due to traffic on this road. This is a pretty major road within South Lake. Tons of people use this to get on like to 114, out to the DFW airport and those things. So just kind of keep that in mind, you're off a road. Now, more into that neighborhood, you probably don't hear it as much, maybe at five o'clock when the commute's a little bit stronger. Uh, maybe you'll notice the sound from inside the neighborhood, but they've kept the trees. They've kind of made it a little bit more private within that neighborhood. So I think it, it works out pretty well. And then let me just keep on driving down here to kind of show you guys uh, what else is on like the outside of this neighborhood and what it looks like. So you got a few banks, you got coffee shops, there's a grocery store. This is Randall Mill Avenue. So this would take you more up into Keller, up into the Westlake area, out to 114. Not too far away to get onto like a commuting highway too. So if you are a commuter getting out to some of the businesses that are along 114, not gonna be really a bad spot because you're off this major road. So kind of easy to get out to things. And then this is a pretty big shopping center along here. It is before you get into South Lake Town Square. I think South Lake Town Square is probably where you're gonna do majority of your shopping. There's some other small little retail and grocery along here, but I think South Lake Town Square is gonna be set up kind of like Legacy West or the shops at Legacy, kind of how that development is set up. So there should be enough options for you to be able to go, uh, not only out, go out, oh, look at this, hold on, my, my uh, oh, Porsche GT. That was the new GT3 RS. Oh my goodness. You know you're in South Lake when you see the new Porsche GT3 RS. I swear, every time I come down here, there's just the most ridiculous cars out on the street. Can't believe I just saw that. Anyways, I gotta cool myself. I'm a little hot. Maybe it's the suit, I don't know. Any guys checking, I got the swag going on guys. Anybody checking out the swag lately? Anyone taking notes of the Dan character arc right now? We're moving. Business is good. I think this would be relatively good for someone that also has to commute down into the airport relatively frequently. Now, you are gonna need a budget of like two million plus, which is not every day especially where interest rates are at but then again interest rates are kind of dropping right now and speaking of interest rates let's just talk about the market real quick since we're still driving over there to the south lake town square area right now what you guys if you guys are looking at the market and you're thinking what, whether or not you should jump back in right now just focus on the pending listings that's what i'm going to be looking at for the next two months and then watch the labor market and the stats on that i still think that if next month labor statistics come out and they're still strong this past month they kind of weakened and that's where i think the fed was like you know, doing their thing where they're like, okay, we're gonna pause. They were almost kind of talking, they were almost kind of giving the vibe that they're on a hard pause and then gonna start reversing things. Now that could be June, that could be March. I think it's all data driven right now. So just watch the labor market. I still think rates could jump up, not, not to where they were just a few weeks ago on their highs, but I still think they could be in this zone of staying pretty high if the labor market stats come out the next couple months and they're still doing relatively good now if the labor market stats come out next month and the next two months and they're still on the decline and they're still showing signs of cooling off that's when things are going to get very interesting because i think interest rates will keep on dipping and then you're going to have people coming back into the market and then that's when it, that's when it's going to start getting funky so i think if you're waiting till summer you might be taking a gamble in the sense of like having to make offers with buyer concessions things like that because it's going to be more competitive if you still want to have some seller concessions and things like that now right now still got good opportunity i've started to kind of see the market change from just a month over what sellers are willing to give buyers uh, it seems like right now most of the offers i'm making sellers are willing to pay for maybe a home warranty go down in a little in price but a month ago i was getting stuff accepted at like oh they were paying for a home warranty we were coming off 15k they were paying for the survey they were paying for title so that's kind of changing right now with some things so i think that just goes back into interest rates and how many how many people can kind of afford things right now so that's kind of my take with things so I'm kind of focused on the pending listings, watching that, and I'm also focused on what the labor stats are gonna be, because that's what's ultimately gonna drive what the Fed's decision and how quickly these rates are gonna kind of pivot. All right, so this up here 
is South Lake Town Square. Now there's a lot of medical practices along here as well. You got your plastic surgery, you know, cause you got all the people around here that can afford that type of stuff. Uh, this is Byron Nelson Road that we're going over. And they've got this road expanded out to a three lane. So it should be pretty easy to kind of drive off uh, and be able to go kind of anywhere you want along South Lake. Uh, if you were to live in South Lake, this is the road that you probably want to stay the closest to and live off of. Uh, so that neighborhood, Stony Brook, is just set up in a really good location in that sense, too. Okay, so here is South Lake Town Square. Now, it's split up into two, but I just kind of want to show you guys uh, what this looks like. So if you are looking in the South Lake Market, if you're relocating to the area and you're not able to kind of go all the way around South Lake, I think this is one of the things you definitely should stop by or at least get to know because they're gonna have all different types of stuff now this is more geared towards walking around it's not really all inside like a mall but they've got plenty of shopping around here you could really spend a whole day just walking around this whole area and checking it out yeah and this is this side is park village over here more of the town square is a little bit further but i just like i said i just want to show you guys kind of what to expect on the different shops and small restaurants. They have some higher end restaurants. You got Del Frisco's, you got Del, you got steakhouses, but then you also have some things like sandwich shops like Potbelly and kind of miscellaneous things here and there. All right, let's find a parking spot. Oh, there's one here. Okay, so that is where I'm gonna end today's video. So hope you guys enjoyed that, seeing Stony Brook. If you guys have any questions about the South Lake Market, please feel free to send me a text or give me a call. I have all my information down below. Other than that, peace out y'all and take it easy as always. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions uh, besides that. Bye.